Though thousands perished on the California Trail, it would be the loss of just one man in a desolate, salt-filled valley that would create the ultimate symbol of death in the desert. On Christmas Day, 1849, two families with children, along with seven single men, stumbled into a low, narrow, and dry desert valley. They were among a group of pioneers on their way to the California gold fields who took a shortcut. Now they were thirsty, weak, and afraid to go on. They camped on the valley floor near a small spring. Two of the men, William Manley and John Rogers, volunteered to find help. They said they'd be back in 10 days. After several days of waiting, the other single men got impatient and struck out on their own. Among them was Captain Richard Culverwell, who was ill. Day and night, the remaining families waited for Manley and Rogers to return. 26 days later, after walking nearly 500 miles, the boys came back to the valley with supplies and a one-eyed mule. As they approached the campsite, they discovered a body. It was Captain Culverwell. Manley said he didn't look too much like a dead man and that he was laying on his back with his arms extended wide. The boys continued on, afraid the families had also perished. But when Manley and Rogers arrived at camp, they were greeted by the starving and exhausted men, women, and children. They led them out of the valley. Manley later wrote that when they reached the crest of one of the mountains, they looked back over the scene of so much trial, suffering, and death and spoke the thought uppermost, saying, goodbye, Death Valley. And that did it. This desert was named Death. When it was named, it was really kind of unfair because at that time, the people who named it made it out okay, but they thought they were going to die. I think Death Valley got its name not so much about what happened there, but a perception of that what could happen there. In reality, on the immigrant route, with thousands of people trying to find their way to California, you had the potential for great death, and you had a lot of death. You had tremendous numbers uh, over a number of scores of years. So I think the contrast, yes, there's irony, but it's irony in terms of perception and reality. I think the reason Death Valley stands out is because of that name. In fact, a lot of the sites in Death Valley are named because of that name Death Valley. It was kind of a, a promotional gimmick, if you will, uh, you know, things like Dante's view, magnificent view. It's a view of purgatory, you know, if you look at Dante's view. Or the Devil's Golf Course, you know, these fabulous salt formations. It was named because only the devil could play golf on linkage so rough, you know, had nothing to do with what you actually see at the Devil's Golf Course or the Devil's Cornfield. So, I, you know, people have had a lot of fun naming things in Death Valley that's added to this whole mystique about the place. Um, which has really had nothing to do with what you experience when you come out. You know.